Welcome to Openbox Education. In this video, I am going to explain about uh, comparison between analog modulation and digital modulation. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe to my channel and share to your friends. So coming to this analog modulation, transmitted modulated signal is analog in nature. Where in digital modulation, the transmitted signal is digital. That is train of digital pulses. In analog modulation, the amplitude, frequency or phase variations in the transmitted signal represent the information or message. That is the variation in amplitude, frequency, phase will be according to the message signal. And in digital modulation, amplitude, width or position of the transmitted pulses is constant. The message is transmitted in the form of code words. So here in the digital modulation, the message can be in the form of code words. And amplitude, width or position of the transmitted pulses is constant. In analog modulation, noise immunity is poor for amplitude modulation, but it will be improved in frequency modulation and phase modulation. In digital modulation, noise immunity is excellent. And in analog modulation, it is not possible to separate out noise and signal. Therefore, repeaters cannot be used. So here in the analog modulation, noise cannot be separated from the signal. If you are using repeaters, then noise is also amplified with the original signal. So that is why we cannot use repeaters in the analog modulation. Coming to this digital modulation, it is possible to separate the signal from the noise. So therefore, repeaters can be used. So here in the digital modulation, we can use repeaters. Why? Because we can separate the noise from the signal. In analog modulation, coding is not possible. Whereas in digital modulation, coding techniques can be used to detect and correct the errors. In analog modulation, bandwidth required is lower than that for the digital modulation methods. That is the requirement of the bandwidth is less compared with the digital modulation. Whereas in digital modulation, due to higher bit rates, higher channel bandwidth is required. In analog modulation, FDM is used for multiplexing. Here FDM is nothing but frequency division multiplexing. In digital modulation, TDM is used for multiplexing. Here TDM is nothing but time division multiplexing. This analog modulation is not suitable for transmission of secret information in military applications. Whereas in digital modulation, due to the coding techniques, it is suitable for military applications. The analog modulation systems are AM, FM, PM, PAM and PWM. And the digital modulation systems are PCM, DM, ADM, DPCM. So this is about the comparison between analog and digital modulation. So thank you very much for watching this video. To watch more videos, please subscribe to my channel, Open Box Education.